Hey rock and rock stars, this is Victoria Terre coming to you from VictoriaTerreLifestyle.com. So guys, have you ever wondered what you're supposed to post on Facebook so that you could get more traction and engagements? Well, in this video, I will be sharing with you the four types of posts that you should be or try to post onto your fan page, okay? guys so what are you supposed to post onto your fan page or your personal profile guys if you are using your personal profile for your business you may want to start creating a fan page soon because there are so many cool features that you can use to promote your business but if you're still using your personal page because there is more traction I totally understand but you should still build a fan page in the meantime okay I've got several blogs that speaks about that and the reasons why so you might want to check those out okay so let's talk about what you should post there are four things that you should post okay number one you should post catchy inspiring posts which I do see many people doing that and some people posting nothing but inspiring quotes though guys if you're doing a real business online you have to mix it up a little bit because after a while people kind of will only know you as the inspirational quote girl or guy and it could become a little mundane and boring and people will actually start to click you off and not interact but one suggestion if you do do quotes add a question on the top of it speak a little bit about the quote and try to relate to it a little bit so that other people can understand why you're even posting that don't just put the picture and nothing else and another thing if you get an original quote from someone share it from their page don't just do a screenshot of it and use it as your own by slapping over a logo on top of theirs give credit where credit is deserved okay and besides Ray Higdon actually said many quotes with logos and websites on it actually doesn't get shared that much so you may want to kind of avoid putting too much of your logos and websites on it I'm not saying don't do it I'm just saying maybe you don't have to and besides tell me when there was a time you actually went to someone's website from a quote that you saw on their post never right so it's not really that important to put it on so it's not really that important to put your logos and websites on it some people may beg to differ but hey that's just my opinion you can but I found that it doesn't get shared as much okay the second type of post you should do valuable content posts. Whether it's in writing or a video or a blog post, it's important that you create valuable content and information to the target audience that you are going after. If you are in the health and wellness industry, you may want to write an article or share a fun fact in a form of a video or just do a write up to your audience so they know to always keep an eye out for your post because hey if it's valuable they will more likely view it and share it and comment and therefore creating engagements for you which ultimately will increase your edge rank on Facebook and Facebook will start pushing your posts out to your fans even more. Otherwise, you know that currently Facebook only pushes out your posts to about 7% of your Facebook fans. You might want to check out an article that I wrote about that as well. Just head over to my blog at victoriaterrorlifestyle.com and you'll see tons of posts about that. So it's really important, guys, to get engagements and views to your posts. If you're doing videos, try Facebook Live because it's really jamming for those that know how to use it. I spoke about it in one of my other posts and I I also included a really in-depth training with it by a top earner in the industry so go and check that post out if you want to learn more about Facebook live the third type of post is share posts about your life your life's journey things you're doing places you're going to foods you're eating but not only food guys I see a lot of people posting every single meal of their day it's cool but spread it out a little bit Share part of your life, guys. If you are all about family, share family photos. If you're all about God, share some verses. If you're all about pets, share your pets. Sports, share pictures of your activities. Like Ray says, this forces you to find interesting things to do so that you can share it on your page. The fourth one, which is actually really important if you're marketing your business on your fan page and on your personal page. Do curiosity posts about your business. Curiosity posts, guys, being posts that implies things about your business, but not directly plastering the company logo and information everywhere. When you plaster info about your company, guys, you will be viewed as the salesy and pitchy girl or guy. 
and after a while people would just unlike you or unfriend you because they don't want to be sold to all day long would you right the other issue is if you are promoting your business people would just google the name and then they'll just come across a replicated company site and buy directly through them it's just easier to deal directly with the company another problem is people may start googling it and come across other marketers that are actually better at marketing because maybe they've been in the industry a little longer yikes all your hard work just went out the door because you share your logo and you plastered your business all over the place the most important thing is have them come to you ask you questions so that you can actually convey that information to them it's so much easier and that actually gives you an excuse to have a conversation and start prospecting them and you already know that they're interested in your type of business or your products so you don't actually have to chase after anybody you see what I mean so guys when I say curiosity polls examples would be if you represent a shake or a coffee show pictures of you drinking it without the actual image turn it to the side so people can't see just talking about how much weight you've lost or how tasty the drink that you're having is and how much it's helped you feel really great about yourself and how much it's helped many others people will start to contact you and ask you questions about it and that's when you're in control of your own business and not the company or the product that you represent so guys these are the four types of posts that you may want to do on your fan page or I guess if you're adamant about doing it on your personal profile because you're probably getting more traction and engagement there then go ahead and post these four types there well I hope you got value out of this if you did share it with your team and of course like my fan page to get more tips and trainings like this and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are watching this from YouTube and go check out my blog at victoriaterralifestyle.com. All right, rock stars, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.